I see Yorubas being enslaved by the Fulanese, by Ajibi, Sumishi, Joseph. Okay? Democracy has always been a system of government that is majorly acceptable by the common individuals of the planet Earth. I see democracy in my country, Nigeria, turning out to appear as its inverse crazy demo. Fela sang a song a long time ago, a piece of music titled Teacher, Don't Teach Me Nonsense, a musical track that talks about some historical fact that happened in the past in my country, Nigeria. Our president, Shew Shagari's democratic administration ended up in 1983 in coup d'etat favoring General Muhammadu Buhari's military administration. Fela expressed his golden mind by telling the good people of Nigeria that he saw the term democracy in Nigeria as something different. He called it demonstration of craziness. He said it sounds exactly the same way Nigeria often call it democracy. He said he saw craziness in the system of government in my dear country, Nigeria. Fela died in 1997, a year after a year I was giving birth. 23 years old, Yoruba man like me, grew up and still met Nigeria the same way Fela talked about it many years ago. Fela may be right by his word, demonstration of craziness. In 2012, during my secondary school days, a great honor was made for the Yoruba race by President Goodluck Jonathan's administration. But the stupidity of my people, supported by their mediocrity and lack of understanding, most especially the pest showing up as a nutrient supplier among them, made them reject this offer as a result of a disease hatred. On the 29th of May 2012, President Goodluck Jonathan's administration ordered the change of the name of University of Lagos Unilag to Moshud Abiola University, Molag, in support of the National Assembly of Nigeria. I saw many Yorubas showing demonstration against that, saying that this is not the right time for President Goodluck Jonathan to seek for the good face of the Yoruba people. Many elites in Lagos demonstrated, including the national leader of the opposition party, Action Congress of Nigeria, ACN, now merging together with their with other political parties in Nigeria and transformed to all Progressive Congress APC of today, under the leadership of Alaji Bolatinumbu. Now, I realize that almost all Yoruba race is in captivity. As a 23 years old man, with all this traumatic experience, I challenged President Muhammadu Buhari's first administration in 2015 to 2019. The administration had produced nothing good to the Yoruba race in Nigeria, and we, the Yoruba people, have no cause to welcome such honor from a Fulanese cabinet. Chief M.K.O. Abiola died in 1998 during General Sani Abacha's administration. Also, his victory was denied on 12th of June 1993 by General Ibrahim Babangida's administration, a bunch of Fulanese administration. He just administration came for the rescue, but we were deceived never to accept such honor in 2012. In 2019, toward the election period, President Muhammadu Buhari's administration announced that Popular Democracy Day in Nigeria has been changed to 12th of June, honoring the Yoruba race, a remembrance of all bad practices that had happened in the past and seeking for a cordial relationship with the good people of Yoruba. I saw Yoruba elites could do anything never to make that possi uh, possible in 2019. It happened live and real. The Yoruba elite folded their arms and allowed this mess to come to pass on them. Medicine after death was what the Fulanese administration offered us. As for a Yoruba youth like me, I see danger in the action. The politics behind the evil honor is like a shame to our generation. Seeing Chief MKO's daughter giving out speech in a ceremony that was full of Fulani people is like the Yoruba race seems happy honoring their failure and I see the Fulani being extremely happy for conquering us. Every 29th of May remains the National Democracy Day in Nigeria but 12th of June 
is for the Fulani people of Nigeria and it is not acceptable by us. Many people will not understand this until it is late. I call on Yoruba youth, both home and abroad. It is time for us to wake up, to seek for liberation. Our country needs restructuring and many adjustments. I believe for the Yoruba race, our ancestors are not sleeping. Let us join hands together and embrace unity within ourselves and always remember that the leopard can still change his spots. Mm. Okay, the, Leop the leopard can still change his spots. Okay, I love Nigeria. Uh, by Ajegbe Tumiche Joseph. Mm. Okay, so guys, you've heard it from Ajegbe Tumiche Joseph. He has said. What he knows, he has said. What he has observed, what he has observed, he has said. The truth, he knows. It is debatable. Some people will say, oh, this boy, how old are you? You know nothing. No, you don't know anything. Of course, that is what they will be telling you. And meanwhile, people are dying. People are dying in ignorance. I think, like, let me just put it that way. They will say, yeah, well, you don't know anything. <laughs> what, what do I need to say? He has said what he, he believes is the right thing. And it's just for people to think deeply. One thing about uh, us is that once you just see somebody, you just try to size the person. Who is this person that is talk, talking? What experience do you have? Or oh, what have you got? How many, whatever do you have? They, they use that as a measure for them to take whatever you are saying. But if it is those people that have marginalized them, if they speak, they will be bowing. But you know, with, with him quoting his age again now, in fact, eh, it's a no, 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 no for some people. But some people will see, understand this he has said. Okay. Someone says here that eh, okay, I hear Una. One Nigeria can never work. It is impossible. Except you can't see or hear. If you see how Yoruba attacks Igbo, Awusa attacks Igbo. Igbo attack Yoruba, Igbo attack Abusa. Even just within a state, there is no peace amongst tribes. And this is called by our is caused by our stupid stingy leaders. Anything you want to go for the request for your state of origin and that is not one nigeria let this country separate so we can have peace that is what somebody believes there someone say are they not slaves before because he's asking that a um i see yoruba being enslaved by the fulanis and someone is asking that are they not slaves before okay and again um Another says, you woke up late. Yoruba Nation Army is already alive and on and, and on fully. Okay, Yorubas will never. Uh, the, the, the chap and his family are under very pitiable illusion of living in Nigeria. Casino of all places. When indeed, fulanization of this contraption is about 50% or halfway achieved. Well, if he's truly as serious as he sounds, let him listen more to foreign news on killings in his family's place of abode and other parts of the core north and middle belt by the same people and he will wise up and someone say your visions are not clear yet every word reveals that you are short-sighted so you believe they see nigeria and you see live in casino i tell you that when the Fulani campaign of ethnic cleansing formally starts, you will swear the number of the Fulani victims. Okay? <laughs> Someone say, Omoibu, you talk senselessly. Okay, sorry, you are late in seeing. You ought to have seen this before now. <laughs> so, those who are saying that uh, the guy is late by speaking up now, what do you think he can do? He's saying his own, he's contributing his quota. It now depends if there are people will be able to understand from this perspective. But the unfortunate thing is that it is not well. I can't say it is in all in all quarters because majority of the people are uh, just tend to be saying yes sir, yes sir, yes sir to their so called leaders, and their so called leaders have not brought any good thing to them in the first place. They don't even reason them. It is only when election time comes that is when they will be looking for people. They will be with like oh we are. We are your leaders. We know what is best for you. We know this and this and that. But after they get what they want, that is the end. You will never see them again. You will never, never see them again. And people are just believing in that lies. For how long are we going to continue like this? 
That is the question people have been asking. For how long are we going to continue like this? So, guys, let us hear your opinion concerning what uh, this uh, writer has said that he sees Yorubas being enslaved by the Fulanese. And someone says, and some people are saying, it's too late. <laughs> they are already enslaved. What do you think? Please let's have your own take in the comment section. Thank you.